Okay, we've got we've got three different colour balls. We've got green, red, and yellow. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do, we're going to um, place the balls inside this tube. Okay, and I want you to remember the order. So we're going to start off with the colour green, and we'll go with the colour yellow, and we'll do the colour red as well. Okay. So can you remember the order there? It was green, yellow, and red. So we're just going to double check that now. Okay, that's really odd. Okay, because we didn't do that. We did it green, yellow, red. I don't know how the red gets to, to the bottom of the pile there. And just one second, we're going to try this again. So I'll try it one more time. We'll do green, yellow, and red. Okay, so. How does that happen? Just one second. Right, we're going to. I've got an idea. We're going to get rid of the red ball right here. We're going to put this into that box. Um, we'll put the tube back on and all we'll do, we'll just use the green and the yellow. So we'll put the green in first and we'll put the yellow in. Okay. And okay, so there's no way that red ball can get into this tube. So I think, I think we're pretty safe now. Okay, so we'll have a look. What's going on? Just one second. Um, so the ball's not in there. There's no way it can be back over here. I give up. Okay, so I've got three bits of rope. I've got a short piece of rope, I've got a middle-sized bit of rope, and I've got a long bit of rope as well. Okay, so a lot of people do ask me, what have I got, what have these ropes all got in common? Um, absolutely nothing really, the colour. Um, they're all different lengths, so we've got the small bit, we've got the middle-sized bit, and we've also got the long bit as well. Um, all the ends are all the same. The really clever thing is though, is when you when you take the ends and you just pull them, if you stretch them through your hands, and all the ropes end up identical. Every single one of them. One, two, and the third one. They're all the same. <laughs> 